This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 20 of Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Xbox Series X. It's been quite a while since the last part, people. I haven't gamed at all for a couple of weeks. Well, that's not true. I did some Fallout 4 after this. Uh, new gen update. Uh, however, I wanted to get back to this and I just haven't done any gaming for a little bit. So here we are, back in it, people. Now, I've decided... I've put fresh markers down off camera and I've emptied a bit of inventory out of me into Leon and Iz, I think the name is of the character. Just to lighten my burden, people. Uh, we're going to head to... Just going to have a look down here where number four is, but then we're going to head straight for where we've been going for the last number of episodes, I can't even recall. But everyone tells me that I can't really progress this anyway, but I'm hoping we can find some sort of place where we can teleport back to, because it's a long road back. <laughs> we've not found anywhere we can teleport to at the minute. We've got ferry stones, uh, but we don't have the port crystals, the the, the the ones you carry around with you, and we haven't found a, a port or crystal, whatever it's called, uh, on the way, so I'm hoping there's one down here. Anywho, let's crack on. Right, where's uh, number four? Is up this away? Let's go, team. Now, we did this area. was starting to get a bit funky, people. Uh, I was feeling a bit underpowered for this area. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence. So... Some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Now there's a thought. Yeah, it was big rock creatures, wasn't it, if I remember. I need to remember how to fight people. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the right bumper. Uh, oh yeah, some wolves would be a nice, uh, gentle way of getting back into it, people. Let the elements empower your strikes. <laughs> Well, I'll level up for Leon straight away. It's quite nice. <clears throat> level 29. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's the rock creatures down there. So that's probably why I've not ventured any further. So, let's just, uh... Hmm... I'm now wondering if there is an easy route to... Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Oh, yeah. What's thrilling? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavour to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Kiko, level 29 doesn't cost anything either. No, nah, I'll do without thanks. I'm pretty sure, I have a feeling we've only just renewed our party uh, to two fresh people. Shit. I knew this was going to happen. Right, we need to make a, some sort of run for it to get to... These rock creatures were a freaking nightmare, if I remember rightly. Well, it's troubled by lightning strike. Come on, guys, with me. Yeah, I don't mind fighting one of them. Why do I feel like I'm in a fucking boss fight as well as this? Holy fuck. Got absolutely battered there.
it just me or this fucking RP taking ages to go down? Twisted Pinion. A uh, different level of harpy, I think. A Knackerhorn? Who doesn't love a good Knackerhorn, people? Yeah, come on. We're not fighting one of them just now. Come on. To me. I'm wondering if, if we set fire to that or whether it was like that in the first place. Yeah, that one's already lit, I think, down there. Here we go. There's something up here. Well, let me just remind myself of how we save. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I don't seem to be able to at the moment anyway. Better not be a collapsible bridge. Our party is well balanced. I can see no weaknesses that might be exploited. <laughs> Could have got a lift up here by the looks of it. Our skills, and in time we shall be indomitable. It is no great shock to me. Wow. <coughs> Dusty in these wastelands, people. Yeah, I'm surprised actually how much has stayed in my head from the mechanics point of view. It's a good sign that it's good mechanics, to be fair. got a bonfire up here, or campsite. Turn the lamp off while we're here. Dried fruit. Hey, pardon, sir. Oh, hello. But you wouldn't happen to be Batali, would you? Hmm. You're not? Oh, thank goodness. I, I have a favour to beg, and I dare say I oughtn't ask it of anyone but a fellow Vermundian. This letter must reach the hands of a man called Ernesto. <laughs> Random rabbit in the background. I've heard tell he's stationed on Volcanic Island, but the road in that direction appears to have been blocked off. It would seem another route lies to the south, only it is plagued by monsters. And I dare not brave it myself. But you seem the capable sort. A soldier, I dare say. I'm sure such beasts would pose little trouble for one of your skill. Pray aid me in this matter, sir. I should not ask such an ordeal of you if I was not sorely desperate. We have a delivery to make. Letter of request. Twixt a rock and a hard place. I don't know what a Twix has got to do, got to do with it, mind you. Right. What's a Twix got to do, got to do with it? Bloody hell. The bunny rabbits are breeding for fun in these parts. Mercantile ward. Hello, my friend. It would seem we need good day to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to buy and sell something there, but it seems not. Let's keep back from the stage, eh? 
Can't say I have any tidings to share. Hey up. Back Batal. The capital of Batal, I think it said there. Well, no, it's just dried meat. I thought it was coin there for a minute. We pawns are mere travellers from beyond the rift. What cause of the Batali to regard us with such hostility? Let no hardship keep us from our char. My services don't come cheap, mind. Uh, oh, enhanced equipment. What you got to? Well, what have we got to sell? Actually, anything? Well, I've probably handed it to other people if we have got stuff. Uh, well, they're not equipped. And they're worth a bit of coin. Boost magic. Imbued with power moderately boosts maximum stamina. Yeah, why not? Got loads of coin as it is anyway. Yeah, we've got a few things here that I look I've given to other people to hang on to so we can sell them. By looks of it. I am assuming it's not letting me sell stuff I've got equipped, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to say equipped on them, so. I'd be seeing a lot more, wouldn't I? I'd be seeing his armour and everything, so I'm fairly confident in that. What I'm not confident about is selling stuff I'm not meant to, like quest items, unfortunately. Hey, I think I'm just going to sell these bloody books. They just get on me wick anyway. Well, he's now light. Unlike me. I've been picking up a lot of this stuff again, haven't I? Right, what have you got to buy? Hmm. Well, he's got a bow that's called the Predator, which is better than what we've got. Dra oh, hello. Fucking hell. Dragon Blink. 419 damage. A longbow. Yeah, it's a, what am I using? A short bow or a long bow? It's a hell of a bow. It's, it's a lot of money, but it might be worth it. A long bow worthy of its namesake. It lets it lets fly arrows infused with dragonic draconic power. Blimey. A bow crafted from iron and heartwood. 
lauded for its exceptional accuracy, it is the most devast- it is most devastating when unleashed upon harpies and their fell sisters. Should we buy that awesome bow, people? Just seems to be a monumental jump in strength damage. Hmm. I do like the look of the Predator one, right enough. Well, we've got the money. Let's do it. Let's treat ourselves, people. Why not? Has he got anything for the big fella? No, he's carrying a one-handed, isn't he? I'd have to change to him. Yeah, there we go. Well, they've got to be two-handers, surely, those. That looks like a one-hand. You can generally tell by the weight. I'm sure I've been down this road before. It does actually tell me somewhere it's two-handed and I keep not seeing where it is, but I'm not... That's a great sword. That's a great sword, so they're two-handed. Where's the standard swords, then? Got shields. Hmm. Oh, there's a sword. Wow. It's a lot better than the other. I haven't got enough to buy both, I don't think. Hmm. Maybe. Silver Kincaida. I think that's how you say it. Oh, it's a blunt one. A sword bearing a notably broad blade, as impressive on the hip as it slashes and devast devastating as it slashes are devastating. <laughs> I might regret buying both though. That's a lot of coin, and it? it's like nearly all our coin. Let's just do one for now till we see what the armor is like around the place. What the fuck? When did I get that? <laughs> the darkening storm, I'm sure. What? It's not as powerful as one we just got. It's 381. Two seven five weight carry. Hmm, I'm curious about that now. Why have I got that and not put it on? Unless it just sounds more awesome than it was. Four four five strength against three eight one, yeah, I mean there's no comparison, is there? Oh. We need a dragon scale and a black crystal. Well, two dragon scales and two black crystals to do the max level up, which will take it from 483 to 547. Fucking hell. Sweet. Uh, we can actually upgrade that for him. Takes it from 379 to 406. It's just whether or not we were going to give him another sword. But it's a bit... No, I don't have enough for it just now anyway. Well, 
We need a blackened horn to do his next one up. Can do that though. Hmm. It's like a different imbuement symbol though, isn't it, from this guy than the ones that we've done before. Which is making me think that the perks they give you for enhancements are different, which I haven't clicked on to before. Well, I could sell him the other bow right enough. Get 10 grand back for it. Oh, that is the Darkening Storm. Oh, yeah. I see what's happened. I must have picked it up, but I haven't been anywhere yet to actually improve it. It's got four sockets on it, though, that one. Um, but anyway, we've got a better one now, so. Probably screaming at the screen telling me, don't sell that, it's an amazing bow. <laughs> Okay. You're welcome. Well, there you go. Draconic bow, people. Nice. It's nice. Come on, there must be a fucking teleportation crystal around here somewhere. I am well enough. Can't quite see. Well, he was the weaponsmith. Here's the armorer, maybe. Me, I sell defensive equipment, as you can plainly see. Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you dare try to take anything without paying for it first. All right, all right. Where was our enhancements at? Oh, you can enhance the weapons as well. Well, we've got a hat that we can... Well, let's see what he's got first. Gnostic wings. A bejeweled circlet fitted with wing-shaped adornments intended to evoke soaring wisdom. It offers guidance to the wearer in moments of dire need. <laughs> Little wings coming out of my head. Well, that's got a better defense on it. What was the... Oh. 182 defense and 181 magic defense. It's pretty decent, that thing. 180 and 201. 202 and 161. Knockdown resistance goes up to 88. That's decent, isn't it? That thing there. It's a griffin. I quite like, I love that. I need to buy that, people. I just like the look of it as well. <sighs> sexy. Everything about it so sexy. <sighs> Might be a matching uh, griffin feather hood. Is there a griffin armor? Mm, not seeing one. Noble Jacket is quite smart and has very good defence on it as it happens. Smart that, isn't it? Mind you, that's even better. Majestic armour. That's heavy, though. It's like double the weight. I'm going to go for the hood. Which is going to take a fair bit of coin. Uh, 
Well, we can enhance it. It's going to take the... Ooh. So enhancing it makes it heavier. I thought it was the other way around. Is it the weapons that get lighter as you enhance them, though? This thing is getting heavier and heavier. We need griffin pin two griffin pinions to take it to its max. can sell that, though. Right, I think that'll do us for now, people. Many thanks. Hang on to a bit of coin, eh? Nice. That's a decent hood, that. I love it. Sweet. He was the uh, weapons guy. Did all right there, people. Draconic bow and a feathery hood. I'm pretty sure that's where we came in. And I've still not seen hide and hair of a crystal. Solid stone ones. Carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is, quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I'd gotten my hands on one. Suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. Okay, just information sake then. Uh, I think we just passed an inn actually. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? A. Welcome and well met. If you seek lodgings in Bakvatar, look no further. As a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate, we offer excellent service at a fair price. <laughs> at ten grand, I think not. We shall deposit some stuff though. Faux show. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're kind of okay. I think it's the other two, isn't it? Well, one anyway. It's still me that's bloody heavy. Still seems to be carrying extra around. That doesn't weigh anything anyway, though. Can hand those Seekers tokens in somewhere. Combi oh, yeah. You can combine in here as well, can't you? Age Scragger Beast, Rotten Scragger Beast. We could get rid of all of that shit, couldn't we? Putting those in storage apparently is the thing to do, which I haven't been doing. It is getting me weight down there.
Oh, wait a minute. Fucking hell, that's crafting shit. God damn it. <laughs> Just wasted some crafting stuff. This bloody tails are good for upgrading stuff as well. Stop it, Steve. What, was that? what did I make there? Exquisite Roborant. Jesus Christ. Didn't need that at all. Lantern oil. Toxic scale. It's an arrow. Yeah, that's all crafting stuff as well, apart from the oil. Yes, need to be careful there, people. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to put all of those in, that last one. Twenty-five faded flowers. Miracle Rawberant. Got three of the bloody things. Well, blimey, I'm light again, people. Good grief. Right, that'll do. Do come again. Right, some slow bits out of the way, people. I'm sure I saw a, a camping spot when we first came in, so I don't think there's any point in wasting 10 grand to sleep there. Right, let's have a look at the... Uh, it's just auto save, by the looks of it. So we'll write that front. That's a different area up the top by the looks of it, which we're probably not allowed into. I don't know, Flame Bear Award. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. All oh, right, and they're not allowed in here. I suppose all we can do is wait. It's a bit like the palace then. Pawns not allowed. Some place in it. What lurks down here? All oh, right, they're allowed, they're allowed in this bit. Back 
barracks. What a load of barracks. A ring of cooling. That's going to do something with ice damage, I'm sure. Or fire damage. We cannot accompany you there, Master. But fear not. You'll find us here when you return. Nothing fantastical in here yet, then, that we need to be doing, I don't think. I must not be spoken to. All right, okay. Be like that, then, see if I care. Entry beyond this point is only permitted to researchers in the laboratory's employ. It is clear at a glance that you are not one of them, as you do not wear the provided uniform. I've got my eye on you. Do not dare to think that you could slink your way in. Okay, I won't go down there then. Fair enough. We need to get a uniform to go in there then. Frame rates are a bit nicer out here than they were in there. Now there was a place, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look up here. What lies in this place? A big gong, by the looks of it. <laughs> There's a pickup up there. Let's try not fall off the edge, Steve. Ooh, yeah, bugger you. Nearly. sake seriously <laughs> fucking hell it's worse than Dark Souls death by environment okay well there was a path going down from here which wasn't on the map Well, I could have sworn there was going to be something up there, but no. My lantern running out. Yeah, I don't know where that's going to take us. To the foot of it all, maybe?
Well, that's ominous, isn't it? That door. Not a foe in sight. Spell seal door. I'm like to forget how to fight. Should this continue? I see no way through, Master. Uh, we ought to try another route. Forgive me if I do not jump for joy. A smaller door. Also lockhead. History chamber. Must finding these be so difficult? Nice. Seek a I token. All our efforts weren't for naught. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Conference room to address the countless reports of ox cart raids targeting merchants and their wares. We will be mounting an operation to root the bandit gang responsible, known as the Coral Snake. The Coral Snakes, should we say? The Coral Snakes. <clears throat> their hideout lies within a narrow cave and is well defended. <coughs> as one of the select group of guardians chosen to participate. You are expected to maintain a rigorous training schedule up to the uh, up to the day in question for swift and coordinated action shall be paramount to your success. Well, that was very interesting. Oh, we're back at the barracks. We've done a big loop, people. Aye. I've still not seen a bloody teleport crystal anywhere. I mean, considering there was one just ra just lying there in a seaside derelict town, you think somewhere major like this will definitely have one. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. I suppose all we can do is wait. Well, at least we've made it to the very place we were meant to be going, people. Although, saying that, I've not got to the quest marker. This looks as good a place as any. I'm in fine fettle today. I've lost track of time. This place is too comfortable. I wouldn't blow my fur every time. A well, mm. well, that's where the inn was. Oh. How might I be of yeah, that was the inn. Oh, the pub. What's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well. Got something you want to say, eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone. That is. If you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? 
Brilliant. Put your back into it. Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. It is not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm, that's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us. Aye? Right? Oi! Bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? Bloody hellfire. No, that sword not coming at large, mate, no? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. Come on then, he can't get close to me, can he, at the minute? You are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. Well, the old dragon bow came in pretty handy, didn't it? Check out that quiver as well. It looks fucking awesome. Fine work that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. Save my thanks. You didn't do anything. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, it's my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time. Well, I pretty much missed all of that because my headphones decided to cut out the sound. Uh, welcome to Batal. I'm not sure what to tell you. Yes, not overly sure what's happened there. They've definitely got power, but it's like they've lost connection with the base unit. Right, so... Does that mean we're allowed in the inn now? What do you think you're doing here?
a bit. At least my back's not acting up today. Right, a reinsertion of the USB cable seems to have got my headphones back. Loot players. Wanderer's Haven. Pray be at ease, sir. This is a tavern, same as any other, a place for people to gather and share a drink. Life in this country can be hard to bear, but I won't let anyone rob us of our simple pleasures. Buy around. I'm not sure what the point of these things are when you do that. Let's try it. Well, I'll be. Put around for everyone. Hey. <laughs> Made the townsfolk happy. Fancy a look at my wares. Well, I'm assuming you've only got food and drink. It's a tavern. Life in this country can be hard to bear. But I won't let anyone rob us of our simple pleasures. Well, I could have talked to him right enough. Sir, life in this country can be hard to bear, but I won't go on. Order a drink. A tavern's a place for revelry, my friend, not stoic silence. Right, okay. Not staying there and getting pashed. <laughs> Virtually pashed is not, nothing quite like it. There's that guy. Doesn't seem like you and I are going to be sharing a drink anytime soon. A shame that. Tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. As I've said, I'm a sellsword. Perhaps our next meeting will be on the battlefield, eh? I'd not say no to the chance to prove my mettle against yours. Very well. Uh, still no teleport place though. When does my watch end? I am looking on the little radial map to see if it pops up, but maybe I can look here. Oh, hello. There's one of those coffin places. Yeah, Batal Morgue. It's good to know. Uh, Rift Stone. Smithy. Oh, vocation guild. Can hand in our things, eh? What do you think you're doing here? to change your vocation, perchance? No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose, and you might even make a new discovery. Well, got any findings to share? Turn in all Seekers tokens. Ten. Nice. Received Ring of Triumph. 
A ring imbued with power slightly boosts maximum health, maximum stamina, and the maximum amount of weight that where I can carry. Nice. Pretty decent. Yeah, I think I may have maxed out the archer, haven't I? So... I don't know... I'm not sure what immediate impact that's going to have on... If I change vocation, I'm going to have to then change all my moves, aren't I? So... I've only just got my bow, so I don't really want to change at the minute. I think I'll just stick, stick with how I am. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, the Ring of Triumph might actually be better than what we've got on. I've currently got Ring of Beaver Power. The wearer's attacks are more likely to stagger. Reduces damage taken from fire. Yeah, I think I'll... Reduces damage taken from fire attacks. Already got that on. I've got two of those now. Yeah, I'll put that one on, I think. Not sure how much weight it increased. Let's have a look. Let's put that back on again. Yeah, it does have a, a fairly big dip in the uh, amount I can carry when I put it on. Yeah, decent that. Right, well I think it might be one of those where off camera I might just Google where the frack there's a teleport mind you if it turns out there's no teleport thing here that is absolutely insane like there must be one in each major town surely a christ unless it's really ridiculously stupid and it's in that bloody lab laboratory place i'm not allowed to go into yet Yeah, that's the weapon and armor guy. Potions guy up at the top. Hey, cosmetics. Change the look and appearance, maybe. Say, are you satisfied with your current appearance? Because I sense you yearn for a change. You wish to shine like a jewel among your peers. Is that not so? Well, lucky you. I am here to see your wish granted. Can't actually remember what I look like, to be fair. Good to know it's there, though. Change multiple, check, give markings, adjust makeup, change hairstyle. Well, I feel like I've been around the houses and I've not seen a crystal for loving the money. Usually, if you get within a certain distance of them, they'll pop up on the map, but I'm not seeing anything obvious. So... Might be a good place to wrap it up and off camera. I'll have a Google, see if, I, <laughs> see if it tells me where it is. Because a hell of a long way to go and not be able to find a, a teleport crystal. There's a bit up there we've not... Well, there's a bit up there we've not gone up to yet. I wish it told you what they were, what the doorways were. What different area things were. Where it was leading you to. So there is bits we've not been down yet. I 
could have sworn I saw a campfire symbol when we first came in to this town, but must be my imagination, people. Running away with me, right? Well, we have reached the hour mark, people. Let's get on to the main path. There's got to be a teleport place around here somewhere, people. And if I find it, I shall show you it at the beginning of the next part. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that, getting back into it again. I kind of, now that I've got my new bow and helm and stuff, just want to get out there and do a bit of fighting, I think. Uh, we do want to get to the actual quest marker, though, if we can. Although a lot of you did say that uh, I wouldn't be able to crack on with that quest anywho. That's interesting. Can't actually see it on the map. <laughs> so it's on the radio map, but it's not on the big map. Oh, there it's there. So there's a quest area marker there. Which we're right in front of the path for it, in fact. Superb. Good to go for the next part, people. There you are. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.